All right, welcome to the webinar, everyone. Uh, this is Tony with MobileSmith, your uh, UI and product specialist. Uh, today we'll be going over uh, creating and sending out push notifications in the platform. Uh, today's webinar will be instructed by Anthony. Uh, he'll show you uh, how to set up push notifications in the platform as well as showing you a live demonstration um, of what push notifications look like and how you receive them on your device. Uh, so without further ado, I'll turn it over to Anthony. All right, thanks, Tony. Um, like Tony said, my name is Anthony. I'm the Client Success Specialist here at MobileSmith. And today we're going to be covering sending push notifications. <clears throat> um, of course, before you can send out push notifications, you do have to make sure that you have all of your app credentials loaded into the platform or else uh, you wouldn't be able to build uh, for distribution and actually um, be able to send push notifications to your app. So we do have uh, some webinar videos on that in our uh, catalog, so feel free to go to our YouTube page and you can look at uh, videos on uploading uh, credentials into the platform. Uh, but once that's all done and you have your app downloaded, uh, you want to come into your app project here. So here I've created a test app. Uh, this is just a gimbal uh, test app, and you'll see here on the left-hand side, we have an app block titled uh, Push Notifications. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and the first thing you'll see on this page is a iPhone download and Android download counter. Now, these uh, counters here only display the number if a user has allowed push notifications. So I wouldn't use this number as a extremely accurate uh, number for how many users have downloaded your app overall on each operating system, but it can give you a pretty good rough estimate of how many downloads you have of your app. All right, looking down below, you'll see uh, push notifications that you've sent out previously. So you'll see the message that you've sent out. So I've sent out uh, a couple here, testing it out uh, earlier this morning. Um, it showed the message, testing notifications, today would be a great day. Um, here, it'll show the status. Uh, so right now, both of these have already been sent out. Um, as you'll see later on, you can actually schedule uh, push notifications to go out on certain dates and, and at certain times. So we'll get into that here in a moment. Here, in this next column, it shows uh, the device that it's sent to. Uh, so you see here that this is only a uh, mobile phone application. So you see it's, it's sent here to uh, mobile phones. Lastly, this last column is the push date. So this is where you can see when that push notification uh, is scheduled or has been sent and at what time. And of course, you can sort these with these arrows here. So you can click and you can sort by uh, status, devices, or push dates. You also see here that we have a search bar. So in the event that you have quite a few push notifications, uh, you can actually start narrowing down if you're looking for a specific one that you've sent before. So, for example, here I'll type in the word test. And you'll see that it starts, it starts to filter out uh, all of your push notifications by the keywords that you're typing in, and it'll bring up uh, only those notifications that have the keywords in that search box. All right, so you see here we have a add new alert button. So this is what we're going to click to go ahead and build out a push notification. So you see here we have the message that will be sent out. There is a 230 character limit. So we'll go ahead and type in a message. Today is Wednesday, so we'll go ahead and type in happy hump day. <laughs> you see here we have a date to send box. If you click on that, it brings up a calendar and time picker. So this is what I was mentioning uh, before. You can actually schedule uh, push notifications in advance. So for example, if you want to want to go out next week on Wednesday, we can click on February 10th, and then we can actually schedule uh, the exact time that we want the platform to send out this push notification. And it's just as simple as clicking the date and dragging these hour and minute meters here. All right, so for now, we're actually going to um, send out a push notification right at this second. So you see here we do have a now button that you can click on. It'll schedule it to be sent out immediately uh, once you are finished 
uh, setting up all the parameters for the notification. Uh, this last option here says, would you like to display a badge? So what that is, if you've ever had uh, an app on your phone that you received a push notification from, which I'm sure you have, you'll notice on the app icon itself, there will be a little uh, red circle with a number on it. So that's, that's what the uh, badge is. So you have the option of uh, displaying the notification or the app with the badge or without one. So we'll go ahead and display it with the badge. So we're going we're to go ahead and uh, check that box there. Now you see here that we do have a cancel button, so if you don't want to send out a push notification, you can cancel. We also have a clear, so you can clear out this whole form. And once you're ready to send out the notification, you can click on Add. So before I click on Add, what I want to do is actually bring up my iPhone screen so you can actually get a live demonstration and see what it looks like when you click Add and when that push notification comes in on the device. So let me go ahead and get the iPhone screen up here. I'm just going to kind of set it up next side my browser window. All right, so here is my iPhone. Here you'll see the app, uh, Gimbal Test here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click on Add. And bam, so you'll see right there uh, the notification popped up for the Gimbal Test app. Happy Hump Day. You'll also see on the actual app icon itself, since we said uh, display a badge, you'll see that number one there on the app icon. And so we can pull down a notification, so we can click on it, and it'll take us into the app. You'll see I clicked on that, clicked on that notification, and on the app it displays the message that was sent out. So Gimbal Test with the message Happy Hump Day. We can click OK. And there you have it. So it's as simple as that, really. There's no um, complicated features here when sending out a push notification. All it really is is coming to the platform, clicking on Add New Alert, and then setting up your push notification um, however you'd like, whether it will be sent out now or scheduled to be sent out in the future. Um, so with that, I can go ahead and open up the floor for questions. So if anyone has any questions, please do type them into the box on the right hand side there. So while we're waiting for some questions to come in, uh, one thing I, I would like to note here is that when you want to send out a push notification, um, be sure to manu manually type in your message. So our platform uh, will not accept copy and pasted messages. Um, so be careful because when you do copy and paste, it can present uh, some issues when you try to add that push notification. So be sure to always type in your message manually. All right, so we just had a question come in here. Uh, this question states, can you uh, send the user to a specific place or app lock within the app from the push notification? So 
So that's a great question. Uh, you actually cannot send them um, to any specific place in the app when sending out a push notification. So um, as you saw in that demonstration, when I clicked on the notification, all it did was just open the app to the home page. Um, so you cannot send them to a specific spot uh, within the app. Great question. All right, so we had another question come in here. Uh, the question is, can you, uh, inside of the app, view uh, a catalog of all the previous notifications that have been sent out? So there's no place within the app itself to see uh, a list of the notifications that have been sent out. Uh, only within the platform can you see all of the notifications that have been sent. Great question. All right, we have another question here. Uh, this question asks, can you send push notifications to specific users or specific demographics? So you, you cannot target um, specific app users from this push notification app block in the platform. So whenever you uh, type in a message to be sent out um, via the platform, you cannot target it to specific users. So any push notification that you put in, it'll go to every user that has this app installed on their phone and has allowed push notification. <clears throat> Great question. All right, so it looks like we don't have any more questions, so we'll go ahead uh, and end it here. I'm going to pass it off to Tony to close this out. So, uh, next webinar in two weeks, Wednesday, February 17th, we will be going over navigation methods. So we'll discuss flat menu, um, the bottom tab bar, um, having an app with no menu, um, and kind of building your main page to have buttons. Um, so go ahead and, and uh, you can register for that. Uh, um, this video will be, um, this video was recorded and we'll uh, throw it up on our YouTube page at mobilesmith or uh, youtube.com forward uh, slash mobilesmith so you can guys uh, check out um, today's webinar as well as previous. So again, uh, two weeks, February 17th, navigation methods. Uh, we'll be just uh, discussing implementing 
and uh, using the different um, navigation methods. So thanks, and uh, have a great Wednesday.